I moved it all here. Your hands are so soft and delicate. You should just let me take care of the hard labor. What I want to do right now is hit you. Just not on the face, please. You're waiting for my answer, right? Well, the answer is I'm not moving in. And why not? Why not? You want reasons? First, you took my things and moved them all into your house without asking me first. That was a mistake. Second, even though my mom is starting to warm up to you, she's still watching over you like a hawk. You shouldn't burn bridges before you cross them. And third and most importantly, do you realize that we've never actually gone out on an official date? We haven't? No, of course not. Just think about it. You want me to move in with you because we had a few chats while we took a walk in the neighborhood. What's the big deal? You want a date? Fine then. I'll change and we'll go now, okay? <laughs> what is it now? You're just going through the motions. You're not being serious. I am being serious. Do you want me to plan the date or something? Of course, you have to plan it, so do it. Are you game? Not really. You should plan it by yourself. Besides, I've missed too much work helping Ling Shi get that painting. I have to do some catching up. You should get to it or else you'll be too busy when the time comes. After that, we have to wait for another year or so. I can see that you're looking forward to this date. Of course I'm looking forward to it. Try not to disappoint me, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Su Ushan came and took me to see a building. I think it's a good place. I want to set up my store there. If you want to do that, then go ahead. You don't have to report to me. All right. You be good now. I'm leaving. Hey. Hmm? I made an appointment for us to meet with Mrs. Chung, okay? Don't forget. Okay. And don't forget to move my things back to my house. All right. I'll see you. <laughs> Sleep well? I didn't sleep. Is it because of our date? Not really. Hey. Hmm? When you see Mrs. Chung, don't ask her about her daughter. Okay. Mrs. Chung, stop staring at Zhou Fang. You're going to embarrass her, right? <laughs> Do you want me to stare at you? Just look at you. You really need to get some more rest. <sighs> Zhou Fang, mm -hmm. now that I've seen you today, you look completely different from when you were on that show on TV. That's for sure. These days, there are so many filters on TV. There's also makeup and post-editing. You end up looking so different from the real you. What are you saying? You think I'm not pretty enough? No, what I'm saying is that you're way prettier in real life. You're actually gorgeous. I got tired of looking at her. Uh, what do you mean? Just ignore him. You know he's spouting nonsense. He says he's tired of looking at you, but what he means is the opposite. What he really wants to say is he wants you with him forever. Isn't that right, Song Ling? That's right. <laughs> Mrs. Chung, um, because I was admitted to the hospital, Song Ling wasn't able to attend to your business. I really feel so bad about that. I'm so sorry. Oh, you silly girl. Of course I don't mind that. 
To hear that Song Ling has finally found a girl he cares about, I couldn't be happier for him. We are the brave. We are the bold. We you go ahead and take the call. Zhou Fang can stay here with me. Oh. Well then, stay here with Mrs. Chung. I'll mm -hmm. just take this call. Mm -hmm. When you decided to set up your designer clothing store, Song Ling immediately came over to me for some advice. Mm. It looks like he's very supportive of you. To be very honest with you, he has helped me a lot. But with regards to the clothing store, I think he's thinking about my feelings and that's why he supports me. Mm. But I don't think he believes that I can pull this off. And actually, it's not just him. Knowing what my skills are, my abilities, I have my own doubts as well. We've actually argued about this topic many times. I think he's too much of a realist. Well, he thinks I'm too idealistic. Hmm. Well, if it's about that, I need to put a word in for Song Ling. <laughs> yes, it might be true that he's a realist today, but before he used to be an idealist like you. He tried to do a lot of things that didn't work out in the past. Sometimes he acted very childish. He was somewhat naive. But from what I see of you two today, you are cut from the same cloth. <laughs> well, come on. Let's go over there and have a look. Maybe you'll get some inspiration. Okay. Come. Some of the items here are replicas, while some of the others are originals I collected from old craftsmen over the years. Mrs. Chung? Isn't this a loom used to weave kusu? That's amazing! With just one look, you knew what it was. I've had a lot of visitors come here. People from all walks of life. No one's taken notice of it, except for you. <laughs> Kusu is a very intricate weaving technique. I believe this kind of ancient craft can't be substituted by using modern machinery. There are only a few people who think very highly of this craftsmanship. Today, many people use Kesi as material for their products. Mm. They choose Kesi silk and other high-grade materials because it can reflect the wearer's status in society and their stylish elegance. But actually, mm. they don't mm. understand its true value and significance of the material. Mm -hmm. So from a creator's point of view, what's the most important thing? It's for them to have a sense of respect and honor its history. This mm. kind of creativity comes from preservation. Mm. I believe that high-end fashion designs shouldn't be tucked away as private products. Mm. I think they are vessels that should be used to demonstrate a certain way of thinking and aesthetic value to the public. Do you agree with what I'm saying? I totally agree with you, Mrs. Chung. <laughs> Actually, I know you'll laugh at me, but before, in the early stages of my career, I always thought that I was supposed to design the most expensive clothes for my clients. Hmm. But after hearing what you said just now, I have to rethink my way of thinking in the design profession. I feel really lucky that I chose to become a designer. That is my daughter, April. Has Song Ling ever mentioned her to you? Oh, uh, he has. She's very beautiful. I see the same fiery energy she had in you. When my daughter was around your age, she mentioned to me once that she wanted her own store. If she hadn't gotten sick, all of this would have probably been hers. Mrs. Chung. Mm. So how is it? Did you learn a lot from talking with Mrs. Chung? Mm-hmm. I've learned a lot. All right. Well, I still have some things to do. You two can look around some more. Okay. I can show her around. You should have brought me to meet Mrs. Chung earlier. I could have learned so many things from her. We were crazy busy before, remember? It's not too late for you to learn mm -hmm. things. Now we can take our time to have a look around everything. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's go. What's the matter with you? You've been quiet since that picture. Tell me about it. I was just thinking about April. It's nothing. We're here now. You should go home. I told my mom I'd be back early. Let me go upstairs with you. You feel that confident? You know what they say. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Oh, just go home, okay? okay? Is that you, Song Ling? 
Hi, Dad. Hey. Hello, Uncle. Hello, hello. Hey, you better go in. Yes, I'll see you later, okay? All right, bye-bye. Hey, Song, let's go. Huh? You mean me? Come on, your aunt wants to ask you something. Ask me something? Uh-huh. Listen, Uncle, I have something to do. I need to go home now. You deal with the fallout. No, I'm coming. Uncle, I'm coming. Um, Mom, it's not like I didn't want to tell you, but the doctor said that there were a lot of cases of the flu virus going around and that it was really contagious. That's why I didn't tell you. Are you still angry? Auntie isn't angry. She was just worried. She was worried. Right, Auntie? Auntie's a little jealous. <laughs> Listen, Auntie, let me tell you, Zhou Fang's logic on this was a very simple case. She thought since there was an outbreak, it was dangerous to go to the hospital. The people who she cares about, the ones she worries about, she didn't tell any of them. She was afraid they would visit her. And that's why I'm different. No one worries about me. I was working the whole day. I'm telling you, if I wasn't in such good health, I would have gotten sick from her. You know something? I don't know about your other strengths, but now I see that one of them is having a silver tongue. Oh, oh I'm sure you could convince the dead to rise up again. Come on, Mom. Please don't be jealous. You think I'm jealous? Why wouldn't I be? How many days have you known this man? He got to look after you while you were sick? Well, what about me? I'm the one who raised you. You didn't say a word to me, so how do you expect me to react? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Isn't she all better now? The most important thing is she's healthy now. Song Ling, thanks for taking care of her. Oh, no need to thank me, Uncle. It was the least I could do. Looking after Zhou Fang is the happiest thing I do. The joy that I feel is beyond words. I promised Auntie I was going to prove myself with actions, that I'm the one who you could entrust Zhou Fang to spend her life with forever. I'm going to work very hard every day, and I'm going to give the best this world has to offer to Zhou Fang. But now I realize I can't do that. What are you talking about? Auntie, later on I found out that the best thing that the world has to offer is Zhou Fang. Oh my goodness, I can't <laughs> believe how cheesy you are. <laughs> Well, all right. Let's go cook something. That's right. Time to cook. Auntie, I'll cook. No, no, no. Hold on. Wait. Did I say that you could stay and eat with us? Oh, Mom. <gasps> Song Ling's gotten so much better at cooking. Just give him a chance to show off his skills, okay? Go, yeah, go. Try it. Just Let go. me do it. I'll cook, but I won't eat. <laughs> I'll go and help him, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Mom, he's been living alone since Luo Luo left. He's been spending his days home alone. During the time when I was sick in the hospital, he was the one who took care of me all day and all night. And since he did that for me, why don't you just let him stay and eat with us? Huh? All right? <laughs> <laughs> now you're being honest with me? Huh? Just admit it. You're so ungrateful. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Tell me the truth. Did he really treat you well while you were at the hospital? Mm-hmm. The hospital wouldn't allow extra beds, so he ended up waiting downstairs. Then he would go home to cook me breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. He made them all by himself. He used to be a really bad cook. <laughs> I don't know how Luolo managed to eat what he used to cook. <laughs> Song. Yes. I heard Zhou Feng say that you're trying to get into a new field and starting a new business? You want Zhou Feng to be your project consultant? That's right. Uncle Zhou Feng is just amazing. She's making such good progress, I've fallen behind her. <laughs> you want to know something? There are times when it seems like you're starting off from zero with nothing on hand. But actually, it's a process for growth. To have put aside all of your past achievements, to start all over, it's not easy to do. You and Zhou Feng should complement each other. When you encounter problems, you should discuss it more. Take the time to learn and explore new things, right? You can improve together. Uncle, we understand that. We're pretty realistic. And Song. Yes? Your auntie. I want you to know, she's not trying to pick on you, okay? Actually, she was lied to once before, and so she's just being cautious. Uh -huh. Don't take it too much to heart. With that said, the things that you said earlier only gives you a bad impression. She'll think you have a smart mouth on you. Doing that won't give you any plus points. You need to do better than that. I really didn't know that, Uncle. 
Listen, how about this? Do you think you could give me a helping hand with her and throw in a good word for me every now and then? Yeah, sure. But you also know how things work in my family, right? Zhou Feng obeys my orders. But us too. We have to obey her mother. <laughs> we have to work oh, hard together. <laughs> drunk. I have something to tell you. Hmm? Si Shan is going to take me to Milan Fashion Week. Hmm. Good. <laughs> you should tuck in. <laughs> Here, I'll carry you. me when I learned to ride a motorbike. Because I knew you were going to tell me about it anyway. <laughs> you ride very well. Where did you learn how to do that? After you gave me your motorcycle. I know your greatest love is to ride your bike, so I thought I'd better learn so I could go with you. Well, you're wrong about that. My greatest love is you. I'm your greatest love? Yes, you're my one and only. <laughs> At one time, I saw an old couple riding their motorcycles together. Even if they weren't going fast, they took their time. I thought they looked cool and romantic. It is pretty cool. Weren't we doing the same thing now? Riding our bikes on the street? Only difference is we're younger, with more energy, right? Mm-hmm. And you, when did you learn to ride? When I was seven or eight. You were so young, how come? Because of my dad. My dad always wanted to be a motorcycle racer, and he wanted to open up a bike shop. My mom told him that he was being unrealistic and said for him to give up on the whole idea. Well, my dad didn't want to give up. So he researched every day until finally he used me as an excuse to secretly buy one. My mom was so mad. <laughs> and after my dad bought me the motorcycle, he would take me to school with it every day and then picked up my mom from work. My dad always said that motorcyclists will stay young forever. And he said whenever he had my mom ride with him, those were the happiest times in his life. That's so romantic. Uh, I'm also feeling romantic. Have some meat. Mmm. It's such a big piece. Mm. What was the last thing you said when you praised your significant other to someone else? You're cute. Beautiful. <laughs> you fat liar. <laughs> what are they playing? It's Life's Map Game. Mm -hmm. It's called Life's Map Game. Life's Map Game? Mm. You're supposed to answer, um, dating questions. 
Oh, it's from meeting each other to dating, then being married and having kids. You have to answer a question from your partner every year until you get old. Oh, that kind of game. Sounds pretty childish, right? It's not childish. Think about it. Wouldn't it be lovely to answer questions about your relationship when you're 80 years old? It's cute. You want to play this when you're 80 years old? <laughs> Please, don't play it with me. My brain cells would die. Three, four, five. If your partner gets sick and can't take care of themselves, will you take care of them? I will. Of course I will. So if I get sick and can't take care of myself, will you take care of me? What's your illness? That's not important. Just answer my question. You can't take care of yourself? Does that mean you can't move at all? And I need to help you change your clothes, wipe you down, and help you take a bath? Sort of. Do you want to marry me? It was just a question. If you don't want to answer it, then fine. Don't change the topic. Why should I bathe you if we're not married? Then fine. Don't answer it. Zhou <laughs> Fang, look at me. From now on, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, I'll never leave your side. Quietly, I'll walk down life's road with you until I die. Will you marry me? In your dreams, didn't we just start dating? You hesitated. I didn't hesitate. It's fine if you won't say it. If you won't answer me now, I'll just ask you again later. Until you say yes to me. <laughs> Are you blushing? No, I'm not. Do you know the family who lives here? I do. Oh, is there a young man named Song Ling in the family? Oh, Song Ling? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. He's now in the fields. Oh, can you tell me where that is? <laughs> of course. Head down this road and turn left. It's not very far. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Are you still mad at me? After seeing you, no. <laughs> I guess being pretty can be useful. <laughs> <sighs> I really liked playing here when I was young. I was here all the time. What did you use to play? There's a lot of things to do here, like climbing trees, crossing over walls. You could even steal your neighbor's apples. <laughs> I can imagine that you must have been really naughty. Back then, there were kids here. Every time I came here, we would play together. Sometimes we'd go to the reservoir, and sometimes we'd climb a sand pile and poke some nests. When we all went home, they'd be scolded, but I just ate my grandma's cooking. She must really love you. She does. So how old is your grandma, and does she live here all by herself? Relatives look after her. Since she's old, she can't really do a lot. Oh. I asked her to come live with me, but she refused. She really likes the fresh air here and all the solitude. Mm -hmm. She also has her own vegetable plot, so she can plant stuff and eat what she grows. Old people seem to prefer this kind of life. They don't like city living. She's cooking some food now. I'll bring you back so you can meet her. I'm pretty sure she'd want to meet my girlfriend. <laughs> Song Ling. 
last time I ignored your feelings because of work. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. We all have some times when we just feel down. We quarreled because I can be obsessive. But you know why the two of us fight a lot? Because I do care. <sighs> Are you feeling comfortable? Mm. The food must be ready. Shall we head back? Mm -hmm. We could sit a bit longer. We can do either. Come on, let's eat. <sighs> is your butt dirty? Yes, it is. <laughs> Stop spanking me. <laughs> oh, let me go there. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma! Oh! I'm back. Oh. I brought someone. Look, you have to meet my grandma. This is... Oh, wait, but earlier... Oh, what happened? She was the one who told me where you were. You said you'd introduce us. Grandma, I was just about to. <laughs> grandma, this is Joe Fung, my girlfriend. It's nice to meet you, Grandma. Hello, my dear. Please sit down. I don't know if you will like my simple cooking. Of course I will. I'm not picky. Oh my. You're so nice, huh? <laughs> Everyone, here's the soup. Hello. Let's eat. Oh. oh. Grandma. Oh. Who is she? She's so beautiful. Oh. My granddaughter-in-law. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> so that is Aunt Zhao. She's Zhou Fang. Hello there. I'm Zhou Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. You're so blessed. <laughs> Toothy is the one who is blessed. Finding such Only. a wonderful girlfriend. Did she say Toothy? <laughs> yes. So Toothy, oh, stop huh? It. <laughs> His teeth wouldn't grow when he was little. So I gave him that nickname. Oh, so you're Sung Toothy. <laughs> stop it. Just dig in already. <laughs> it's so cute. Come on, eat. Listen, Fang. Your first visit means I have to give you a very special gift. Please take it. Oh, no, Grandma, I can't accept that. I didn't bring a gift for you. I can't accept that. You don't like it? Oh, no, of course I like it. Uh, then, come on. <laughs> Your hand. Put it on. Oh. There you go. You see? <laughs> it looks much better on you. <laughs> Eat up. I'm so touched. You should keep it because Grandma gave it to you. But you know what? That's a special one. It's very precious. That was given by my grandpa. Oh, now I definitely can't take it. I'll give it <laughs> no, back. No, no, no. just no. keep it. Yes, yes, it's fine. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll keep it if we break up. <gasps> You're so naughty. <laughs> Stop it, Willie. <laughs> so funny. Here, try this one. Let's okay. eat. Okay. Who wants Thank to? you. <gasps> so Ling, <sighs> what are you doing here? Shh. Come on. Grandma doesn't know that I'm here. What's wrong, Sung Toothy? Stop calling me that. <laughs> I'm here for a... for a talk. A serious one. About what? Everything. Answer this question, but you cannot get upset. Fine, let's do this. Who goes first? You first. Are you ready for this? Mm, I am. <clears throat> so tell me, do you have an ex-girlfriend that you still care about? I don't have an ex-girlfriend. You're lying. Tell I the don't. truth. I really don't have an ex-girlfriend. I'm gonna pinch you. It's because once I break up with someone, they become a stranger. I always get closure. The marks she left are erased. Oh, is that so? Either it's that, or I need to apologize to you. Okay, fine, you win. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and ask. Uh... All right. I don't want to know so much, but I am curious about it. Mm. Tell me about your past relationships. That's a pretty general question. Oh, is that general? Were there a lot? Fine, I'll answer then. <clears throat> <laughs> when I was in college, mm. I had a crush on Wo Cheng Dong. Who? I'm sorry. Come here. 
Didn't you tell me that you two were just friends? <laughs> it really was nothing. It sure sounds like it's something. But I only had a crush on him for a few months when we were in college. I can't believe I let you have dinner with him. How stupid was I? I did make things clear when we had dinner that we were just friends. You were talking about it too? Is it done? It was nothing. Come on, I let the question about your ex-girlfriend go. Can't you let this one go? Fine, fine, fine. Next one. <gasps> you want to know more? Tell me. The thing is, in college I was so busy that I was single. After graduation, that's when I met Wang Zeyang. <laughs> That's a rough time. Let's not talk about him. <laughs> I know all about Wang Zeyang. Let's move mm -hmm. on. After that, you met me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just realized I don't really have that much experience, do I? Oh, that's not true. You had three. That's quite a <laughs> common number. <laughs> okay, it's my turn again. Go ahead. I'm curious how much this bracelet was. And if it breaks, can I replace it? If that bracelet breaks, you'll spend your life paying for it. Then I should really be careful. You don't want to pay for it? You said it would take the rest of my life. That's why I said I should be careful. I'm going to keep it safe. That's not what I meant when I said that you would spend your life paying for it, okay? You can't live without me. We're meant to be together. I think it's the other way around. Oh, but the point is that we can't live without each other. Isn't that right? <laughs> Yes. So now that the two of us have reached this point, mm. given that my grandma has met you, mm. are you ready to take the next step? Now you're starting to make some sense. Let me think. Mm. Mm. Well, we have no choice but to obey the law. <laughs> And get a certificate? Yes, I knew it. And get one for Toothy. What sort of certificate? <laughs> you know, there used to be a white puppy on my block, and his name was Toothy. He was so cute. Did he ever bite you? <laughs> 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 <laughs>